now finally starting to feel a little bit like basketball weather outside <laughs> because it's cold today yeah. finally, Katie. It, one day. One day. Yeah, tomorrow may be cool, but okay. then we're going into record warmth territory. Again, another Next record. week in this time, we might be talking snow on the way. So okay. give it a week. Okay. All right. It's December. There's your preview. Let me take you outside where we're talking about what we call a mid-latitude cyclone big storm system. It stretches from one end of our country to the other. The northern side getting snow, the middle of the country getting severe weather, and then the tail end of this just showers and thunderstorms. But the severe weather has been going all night long. Just in the past 30 minutes is the first time we've seen no new tornado warnings issued. But all night long, there were tornadoes occurring from Missouri, through Arkansas, Kentucky, Tennessee, Illinois, even northern Mississippi got a tornado. The deadly tornado, though, was in Missouri, not far from St. Louis. This is about 30 miles outside of St. Louis, near the town of Defiance. That's in St. Charles County. One person was killed, two people were injured. There were a lot of reports overnight of injuries from storms throughout those states that I just mentioned. For us, Kansas City was in the dry slot of this storm. We didn't get the heavy snow. We didn't get the severe weather. We had a couple of spritz and sprinkles yesterday, but we are getting the colder weather behind the front. And the winds right now are really howling, 29 mile an hour winds. And as strong as those winds are, that's down considerably from where they were in the middle of the night. They were gusting up to 40 miles an hour here in KC. The wind is creating a wind chill. It feels like it is 24 in Kansas City, 22 in Olathe, 18 is your current wind chill in Trenton. The actual air temperature is 34 degrees right now. We'll climb into the 40s this afternoon. The winds will die down. They'll turn to the west for the afternoon and then the southwest this evening. So we'll see with that southwest wind tomorrow actually will be a little warmer than today. Though we start freezing tomorrow morning, 32 degrees, so think of that for tailgating. Maybe if you're getting started right at 730, that'll be freezing. We'll work up into the 40s for the start of the game. Middle of the game, temperatures should be approaching the high, which will be 54 degrees. There'll be a south wind tomorrow, gusting up to 30 miles per hour. This is a national map where we are plotting the jet stream winds and I don't usually go here, but I wanted to help tell the story by using this. This is where we are today and what we see is a ridge out west, a trough in the middle of the country building back to a ridge to the east. This is cold air coming out of Canada. That's the air we're feeling today. That rotation, that vorticity in the atmosphere helping to spin up all of those tornadoes. That moves off to the east and is replaced with a ridge over the middle of the country for next week. And that's where we get into record warm temperature. But here's the cold air that will be here next weekend and perhaps create a little snow. Just for example, Wednesday's high 74 degrees. The current record is 68 degrees. So both Tuesday and Wednesday, we could have new records on the books and next weekend much colder. We'll be right back.